Okay, you guys, excuse the mess going on right here, but um, Sean Brown went to the farmer's market because I said I, we needed to can some tomatoes, and he brought in three big crates full of tomatoes. Okay, let's get started. Now in this pot, I had got just plain old water, no salt, no nothing, just plain old water. As you can see, I'm bringing it to a boil. And um, this is just one crate of the tomatoes over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you how to easily get the skins off of your tomatoes. Really easy. X the bottom of your tomatoes, just like that, okay? Just like that. Now I have pre-washed all the tomatoes and we're just placing them down here in the hot water. And we're going to let them um, boil in this hot water probably about a minute. Okay? We're not cooking the tomatoes. All we're wanting to do is loosen up that skin. Okay, that's what you're looking for. See how the um, skin is starting to come off there? And we're just immediately going to put that in ice water. Okay? There's another good one you can see. And here we go. All right, the important thing is keep your water cold. So you definitely want to have a lot of ice. Oh. There we go. See how easy these skins come off. Look at that. In the ice water, ice water immediately stops any type of cooking process. And so they're easy to touch. I can just pull that off with my hand. Isn't that great? Now, this, the stem part, I cut out. And I cut it out over my bowl because I want to keep all those good juices. You know? And then you just cut it up. You can dice or uh, however you want to do. Uh, this is the same method you would do for um, if you wanted to do tomato juice. Just put them in a um, juicer at this point. So, again, just see how easy those skins come off like that? Isn't that great? Yep. Just peels right off. Okay, you guys, this is one crate of tomatoes cut up. Can you believe it? That's insane, right? All right. Okay. Cool. Okay, so let me move you a little bit closer and we'll start stuffing some jars. Let's start stuffing some jars. I'll move it down here so you can kind of see. Um, and we're wanting to leave a half inch of uh, head space. So you just start throwing them down in there. Now, the key to this is, um, you know, they say you can uh, leave it as loose as you want or fill them up as much as you want. I like to fill them completely up. And um, if needed, then you can, um, see, I'm going to squeeze those down. Actually, I'm going to move that just a second. I'm going to squeeze those down, and it says if you need to, you can um, put in um, some hot water on top. Well, I never do that. I just squeeze down the juices, and that's about half right there. See, that's about half. Okay. So let me finish up with these jars. As you can see, I got uh, five, six, seven, eight and a half jars out of one crate. So that's good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, lemon concentrate. And I'm going to put about two tablespoons in each jar. Now, the reason why I'm using um, eh, maybe about a teaspoon and a half. Uh, table, yeah, tablespoon and a half. Um, the reason why I'm using jarred is because once you shake it up, the acidity is very equalized. If you use fresh, then you know it's not, you don't get full equalized acidity, which is needed. I don't need to put salt in these. 
And then the next thing I'm going to do, once I get my full jars, oh, another thing that I did is um, the juice of the um, tomatoes that was broken up in my bowl, um, I used that to fill my jar instead of using hot, uh, jars instead of using hot water. So, yeah, so there we go. Look at that. And I'm going to clean off the rims. Okay. This helps it seal. On the stove, I have got my um, uh, lids, not my rings, my lids uh, sterilizing. And the sterilization, obviously, you know, is good. But also that heat uh, opens up the, uh, the sealing process and starts it, okay? Okay, you can see I've got my lids here in boiling water and they're ready to go. So I'll move everything over here and I'll load them up. Okay, as you can see, I've got my lids in boiling water. I'm using my little handy dandy tool, which is a magnet, because at this point I don't want to touch the top of the jars. And I just put on my lid. A ring and I'm just going to hand tight at this point. Put that down and now they're going to be ready for the water bath. Okay you guys, now I'm ready for Sean to do his part. So this is a water bath and it's different from your pressure canning. Still takes seven jars at a time, but you're basically just putting your jars in um, a bath of hot water. Now you want the water to uh, fill completely to the top and just cover the lids. Now we do this outside. You can do it inside, but we do it outside because the kitchen gets hot enough here in South Carolina. minutes and we did put seven jars in but sometimes you will have a jar bust just like that there's there's an imperfection in the jar and it causes the jar to break and it just happens but the rest of them are good because they're sealed up